And thanks for sticking with us here for joining us now to talk about colon cancers, Dr. Michael Driscoll from Norton Healthcare. And Dr. Driscoll, we know that Norton has a big event that we want to talk about in just a few minutes. But first, let's talk a little bit about colon cancer sure. and some of the signs, symptoms folks should look out for. Sure. Yeah, so uh, most oftentimes people will present with abdominal pain mm -hmm. and potentially change in bowel habits. Okay. So it might be uh, kind of loose stools or mm -hmm. change in stool caliber or blood in the stool. Mm -hmm. um, those would be the most common things, potentially weight loss. So if, if you're experiencing any of those things, you really have to talk to your primary care physician and, and ultimately you know, get a colonoscopy done. Okay, um, and what are the treatment options for somebody? If you, if you go in and, and you find out that's what's happening, sure. what, what do you do next? Well, so it depends on the stage, okay. right? So, I mean, if it's early stage, you may just need surgery. Um, mm -hmm. If it's more of an intermediate stage, you may need surgery and chemotherapy, depending on the risk. If you're advanced stage, then generally we try not to do surgery. We put people on systemic treatment, mm -hmm. which may consist of a chemotherapy plus the addition of a monoclonal antibody or immunotherapy. Sort of depends on what their molecular signature of their cancer is. So this is important. If you have if you think you have any kind of symptoms to get checked out right away. Yeah, absolutely. And, and really, ideally, what we do is we, we find this before it becomes a cancer, okay. okay? And that's where screening comes into play. So really critically important to get your screening done. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the uh, U.S. Preventive Services Task Force is recommending screening for people who are asymptomatic with no family history starting at 45 years of age. And there are various uh, screening options out there. So there are things that are stool-based tests like mm -hmm. the FIT or the Cologuard, which you may have heard of. Um, there's a, a relatively new test called the uh, SHIELD. It's a blood test, okay. uh, which people you know, can get into rather than having to do a colonoscopy. But really, really the gold standard is colonoscopy. And we'll talk a little bit about that uh, during this conference, uh, pros and cons, and, and you know, really why people probably ought to get colonoscopies done rather than some of the others. But if you're going to get a screening test, really the best one is that you get done. Okay, uh, and let's talk about this event that's sure. coming up because yeah. we want to make sure we get this all in. Sure. It's going to be yeah. an exciting event. And you've got a special speaker. We do, actually. Uh, Daryl Strawberry wow. is coming to speak. And Daryl's uh, obviously a Major League Baseball legend. Yeah. And But what people don't realize, too, probably, is that he's a two-time survivor of colon cancer. So and he actually played for the Yankees and didn't tell them at first that he had it. Yeah, well, I mean, he was a young guy when he got diagnosed. So he was 36 years old, mm -hmm. and he thought he just had some hemorrhoids or something, you know, abdominal pain. Just figured, you know, he said he was taking a lot of kind of antacids. He didn't realize that was going on. And mm -hmm. until he actually went and got checked out and he, you know, he ended up having a little bit more of an advanced cancer and underwent surgery and chemotherapy and treatment and then actually relapsed two years later. Wow. Uh, was able to undergo surgery and then and essentially beat it. And here he is to tell his story. Okay, and he is going to tell his story. Tell us again how folks can be there or find out about it. Yeah, so uh, so it's called the uh, Garlov Lectureship. Uh -huh. uh, it's going to be at the Olmsted on Tuesday, October 29th. Mm -hmm. uh, starts at 5 p.m. Uh, it is a free event, so you just need to register at NortonHealthcare.com. Uh, and get your tickets and actually also for providers it's a it's an event that you can get continuing med medical education credits for uh, but then there'll also be an opportunity after this to do a meet and greet and a picture with, uh, with Daryl Strawberry. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in sure. to talk about this important issue. We thanks. appreciate it. Thanks for having us. All right. Well, up next, the